Hey everyone, this is Christopher Luxon, the former CEO of Air New Zealand. This is John Lee Dumas, the founder and host of Entrepreneurs on Fire. This is Tracy Ibarra. I'm an executive solutions at Dell Technologies. This is Travis Chappell, founder of Build Your Network. If you are wanting to learn how to embrace change and to navigate through disruption as a leader, then listen to the Leadership is Changing podcast. The Leadership is Changing podcast. The Leadership is Changing podcast with my good friend, my very good friend, Dennis Giannoutsos. Welcome to Leadership is Changing. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change. This is taking your leadership to another level by finding the balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsos. Hey, welcome to the show, Leadership is Changing. What we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Leaders everywhere confront similar obstacles because people are people, but everywhere you go, leaders are overwhelmed, disrupted, and under pressure. They run from email to email, meeting to meeting. Many leaders are not changing quick enough, which means they run the risk of becoming irrelevant and being left behind. The purpose of the show is taking our listeners' leadership to another level by finding their balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. I believe we don't have enough effective leaders in the world today, and if we can get the leaders to step up and lead change, then they can inspire real change. Hey listeners, it's now time to adapt in our fast-moving world, and I want to welcome you to the Ask Dennis episode, which is a freestyle episode. This is where I'm asked a question by our listeners, or I share my thoughts, insights, and experiences from working with many leaders around the globe. Hey listeners, if you haven't already checked out the Facebook group or the LinkedIn page, Leadership is Changing, feel free to go ahead and check that out. We would love to see you in that uh, community and uh, look forward to seeing you joining us there for sure. Okay, so this week I want to talk to you about the Ask Dennis episode and this topic is the power of the ask. Now what do we mean by that? I find that a lot of people don't do things in business or don't do things in life and they're a little bit not sure where they should go. The power of the ask is really important. All you have to do sometimes is just ask. If you're looking for help, if you're wanting to get things done or if you want to network with people, all you need to do is ask. Now I know that's a lot easier to say than it actually is to be done but I tell you what team, The power of the ask is so massive and the impact is tremendous. I know that recently um, somebody asked me, how do you get guests to the podcast? My response was very simple. I ask. And that is, I need to go and ask them to be part of the podcast. Do I know every single person that's joined me on the podcast? Well, not at first, but then we build a relationship, we get to know each other. They become part of my network, I become part of their network. But what I've done is I've gone out to them and explained to them about the, the show itself and what, why I started the show, what the background of the show is, and what we're trying to achieve with the show. And then I asked them if they'd be you know, willing to actually join us on the show as a guest. Sometimes they come to me through a network, through a connection that I have, and there is, of course, credibility instantly with that person because they know the person that I know as well. So it always comes down to the ask. Now I'm wondering, is there something that you are wanting to do in life, or is there something you're wanting to do in business, but you actually haven't asked either certain things as per following? No one, have you asked for that goal? Have you asked for that dream, that big thing that you want to go out there and achieve? Actually, have you asked for it? Have you actually asked for it to come into your life? It's really amazing what you can do here, team. I actually ask, I ask several times for certain things to happen. And, you know, they come in different ways and different packages and so forth, for sure. The power of the ask is a, is a certain skill set that we all need to do. Because, you see, not everyone can ask for help. Not everyone feels comfortable asking others to network or for their contacts that they may have. People find that difficult. 
The ask is very simple, comes to, down to three letters, A-S-K, but the ask is not always easy to do. And the power of the ask is something that has, is in your hands today. You see, for a lot of us, when we're going out and dating, we would ask the other person if they were you know, keen to go on a date. We were always feeling vulnerable, always feeling that there might be some rejection there as we're actually asking people to go out on a date with us. For some people, when they ask somebody to marry them, you know, there is the question, whoa, will they say yes to the answer or to, to the question of the ask? When we go out and ask for help, for a lot of leaders that I work with around the globe, for some of them, as I said before, they find it difficult to actually ask for help. You know what? They don't want to be seen as being weak. They want to be able to go out there and feel like that they can go out there and do this thing that they need to go and do. But that's not a weakness. It's a strength. The ability to be actually turn around and ask for help is an absolute strength. And I'm going to actually recommend and highly encourage you to look at what you can do in asking for things in your life, in your business, asking for help in certain things that you might need to do. Going and asking people how they are, asking them what help they might need, you'd be quite surprised in the conversations that you'll end up actually having. Because you see, when's the last time that somebody asked you how you are? And you see, if you go ahead and ask people how they are, that is so powerful, team. Because nobody has probably asked them. And I know that in like in the HR space or in other areas that I work with, that when I ask them how they are, how are you going, you could see a tear almost go into their eyes. Because nobody's actually talked or asked them how they are. Because they've always been the person who's the giving and always the one that's asking people about things. So the thing that's really important here, team, for you is that if you can actually ask and get really good at the art of the ask or the power of the ask and utilizing that to help you move forward, to enable you to help the team, the organization move forward as well. And I think a fundamental thing that underlines all of this is the power of questions. And if you can ask by asking questions, that's what's really going to help you. But it comes down to quality questions and what you ask there. And it comes down to the quality of the ask that you're asking for. You see, not everybody understands what they're looking for. Not everybody understands what they're going to ask for. Let's take somebody who's looking at changing their career. They're looking at either going and taking a more senior role. They're looking at possibly going out there to go and do something else in a, in a totally different organization. Or they're possibly going to go out there to start their own business as an entrepreneur, as self-employed. But as, what, it, what it comes down to is I find that a lot of people don't actually have clarity on what they're actually wanting to do. So then when they're actually meeting with their network and the network says to them, hey, what would you like to do? Well, I'm not sure. I might want to do this and yet again, I might want to go and do that. And yet again, I might want to go and do this over here. And what actually happens is they're not very clear on their ask. They're not very clear on where they want to go in their direction. They're trying to hedge many bets. And it ends up whereby others are not knowing or aren't sure on how they're actually going to help that person move forward. So if you are asked that question, what I'm going to encourage you to do is be prepared to answer that question. When you go into meetings, think about what are the questions that you want to ask. Think about what is it that you want to get out of that meeting. Think about what are possible questions that they might ask you. And so then you can prepare the answers possibly to those questions as well. You see, team, the power of the ask is very, very important. The power of the ask is something that's really quite huge. And, you know, there's been times in my career and there's been times in my life and business and other things that I've done that I've just asked the question and it's almost like the floodgates have just opened. It's amazing how things can happen for you and in relation to coming down to the power of ask. Sometimes it takes courage. Sometimes you need to be bold. And I'm not saying being arrogant. I'm not saying that you have to be rough. I'm not having to, to be sort of tough person to ask certain things. Put it away by giving some context and ask the question. And you never know what might actually happen here, team. You may get what you're actually asking for. The other thing too is be careful what you're asking for. Because that's what if you ask for it, that's what you'll get. You know, some people are wanting to be able to go and 
leave their jobs, so they end up being redundant. But what they actually should have been really clear about was that they maybe wanted to go off and do another job or a more uh, another business and something like that, and enable them to do that, they would like to get a redundancy or leave the organization and so forth to help them have a buffer to start their business. Well, then that's something you might need to be asking. That's something you might need to be thinking about a little bit more, asking yourself exactly what you're wanting to do. So you can see how the power of the ask can be quite multi-dimensional. It can come from different areas. You asking yourself, you asking others, others asking you, but it always comes down to the power of ask. And if you can get very clear and very good at the power of the ask, then I'm going to say to you that you have a journey ahead of you that's very, very exciting. Just know that if you need help around this whole space team, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'm more than happy to help you and work with you. Also, if you haven't joined the Facebook group or the LinkedIn page, please go ahead and do that because that's where people sometimes ask questions. That's where we are sharing things as a group and we love to see you join those different communities. So team, thanks for joining me on today's session. Think about the power of ask. Think about how it's actually going to help you and ask yourself the question, what are some asks that I want to ask myself or others and how am I going to prepare those things for sure? Hey listeners, what we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Change is incredibly scary, especially the unknown and the unfamiliar territory. It's time to adapt in our fast moving world when leadership is changing. Look out for the episodes as they've been released, download, have a listen, put a review, a rating. Feel free to send them or share them with your friends, your family, your network. If there's any feedback you'd like to give me on the show, or if there's a question you have for my guests as I interview them, or if you have an, uh, a question for the Ask Dennis Freestyle episode, feel free to send me an email at dennis uh, or dennis at leadingchangepartners.com. All right, team, always a pleasure to bring you the Ask Dennis episodes to you. Thanks for tuning in today. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you for listening to this episode of Leadership is Changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change, inspiring executives and leaders to adapt and lead a bigger game in a fast-moving world.